I assume y'all watched the buy-in. I actually right? I didn't watch the buy-in. I watched the Suzuki Danielson match, but I didn't watch the rest. Well, I watched the whole thing. Well, you could tell us about the early part then, well, and I will, we'll tell I, you about the, the I, important part. I will if you will shut up. So we open with a Ty Conti. What kind of a radio show do you think this is, Vinny? I, Let's do a radio show where no one says any words. You're listening to The Brian and Vinny Show with your hosts, Brian Alvarez and Big Vinny V. That's going to be a big hit. We're coming up on 20 years. I still have no idea what kind of radio show this is. I watched this match, and I think the only thing that they had planned was like the last oh, I'm sure. 20 seconds. Mm-hmm. They, I, I presume they must have called all the rest of it in the ring. But there was What's a little... What's the call? Bit, you hit me. Yes. I'll hit you. I knew going in that it would be out of this world. And then I watched it, and it was confirmed that it was out of this world. Jericho is calling out Paige Van Zant. Says he wouldn't touch her with her husband's genitalia. CM Punk responds, 100% deadpan. I don't think that's true. I think he would. <laughs> the elite are the biggest douchebags in wrestling right now and then taking his place as king possibly even mayor of douchebag city is uh is dang on it i hate it when my brain does this oh craig craig proper such a speech and then you <laughs> fucked up adam cole's name no not adam cole the who are you uh, talking Brandon about cutler the Invisible Hand. Don Callis. Don Callis. Don Callis. Oh, my God. You forgot Don Callis' Dude, name. I, oh, you'll never hear the end of this one. Something is wrong with my brain. The, the, the harder I've tried in my life, the more I've failed. Well, this see, now we've all dec- learned something. Repeatedly over the decades. It's a lesson from Penelope Ford. The harder you try, the harder you're going to fail. Yeah. Yes, the lesson is never try. Never yes, try. Yes, just go in there. Well, it's kind of true. It's true for me. Homer. you got to gotta try to it. Every, t- every success I've ever had in my life has come after I've quit. Wow. <laughs> if ever there was a reason to subscribe to video.f4wonline.com, uh, this would be it. Joseph Callahan Augustus Daly II asks, I am three weeks behind on the B&V show. Have I missed anything? No. No. If there was a film featuring the four of you, who would you cast to play each of you? I'll be Charlotte. People tell me Vince Vaughn a lot, actually. John Goodman. And yes. Brian? Was it Ben Stiller that did the hair gel thing? And <laughs> yes. Mary? yes. That's all I can think right now. What was an unspoken scandal in your town when you were growing up? Well, three of us are from the same town. Way back when a doctor and a nurse got caught uh, having oh. an affair and they got kicked out of town. Wow. Yep. Granny's so old that you could get caught having an affair and be literally run out of town. <laughs> Baylor versus Samoa Joe. A uh, dark figure comes out, can't be Joe, not fat enough. <laughs> it is Baylor wearing a cape and derby hat, face painted. Haley versus Lennox. Hooley versus what? Haley versus Lennox. Spell Haley. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who is Haley and who is Lennox? Is this a wrestling match? That's, yes. I saw the, I call, I call, I believe the, Referees are blind. I see that. Whipple man had. What just happened? I'm I'm trying to find my place. And I, I just... see. And she writes out the words, fuck you, Vince, in cocaine, and then snorts it up. And Gangro's telling the story and laughing about it. And there's a comedic element, sure, but I've never done cocaine. I've never been around cocaine. But I'm picturing the amount of cocaine it would take to put it in a mirror and write the words, fuck you, Vince. It's a lot. That seems like a lot of cocaine. <laughs> I'm about ready for a Bright Side of the Ring documentary series. Man gets career, enjoys career, retires happy with his family. That book doesn't sell. Whatever. You don't have to well, do it if you want to. You can keep telling these horrible stories. I don't care. Well, next week to cheer you up on Dark Side of the Ring, and it's Rob Black and the XPW. <laughs> when Trick Williams told Johnny Gargano that he needed to worry about his daughter... I thought she's a zygote. <laughs> she's in the womb right now. Oh, what in right. the fuck are you talking about? I was so fucking baffled. Yes. And they keep going on on about the guy's daughter, and Johnny's kind of laughing it off. And I'm like, he's talking about your fucking unborn child, bro. No. And then finally I figured out that, in fact, they were talking about Indy Hartwell. But Vaughn doesn't want to ride bikes. Vaughn wants to lift wood. They find a piece of wood. 
And they're doing squats and lunges and carrying this wood around. You know, in case they have a match with a log, <laughs> they're going to know what to do. You you squat it and you chop at it with an axe. Isn't there a Mr. Miyagi line where he says, can you pick that board? Don't know. Never fought tree. Let's look what happened to J.C. Jane in this match. Mm -hmm. She tried to run and basically just jump between the top and middle rope, a move we see on every fucking show, including shows like Raw, where they have a very basic, slow WWE style. You still see at least a tope, I think, on every show. It's a very, very common move. She goddamn near killed herself. And now they're going to put all of these women in a ladder match at Halloween Havoc live? Not a fan of this idea. Maybe I'm missing something. I have not watched Back to the Future in many years. But why in the fuck were they in the bathroom? There was nowhere else in this building to film this skit. I mean, I know why Kashida was there. He had to pee. <laughs> what? I don't know idea why Ikemen Jiro decided to ambush Kashida literally at the urinal. They did this whole fucking segment in front of a urinal. Which means, by the way, when Ikemen Jiro tears open the bag and all of Kashida's crap goes everywhere, it's rolling around the all floor. All over the, the bathroom room. floor. Toss it out, burn Bro's it, go buy new shit. pissing all over the floor. <laughs> I watched this match and I had I had three thoughts. Number one, this fucking guy is awesome. Number two, this guy will main event a WrestleMania. And number three, I am totally fine with this guy becoming NXT champion next week. Mm -hmm. He's explosive and he's charismatic and he's athletic and he ticks every box that they've got. Uh -huh. I mean... And we've mentioned it a million times. The name is stupid. I don't know why he's not, you know, Braun. He could be. He could be Dude, Rex Steiner. Rex Steiner was the best name ever. Bronson Steiner. The, that also worked. Braun Steiner. Bronson Rex Steiner. <laughs> Any of these fucking names are better than Braun Breaker. He goes out there in Rick's outfit. He does Rick's spots. Yes. He does the catch the dude power slam out of midair. He yep. did the Scott Steiner Steiner recliner. He does the Steiner line. The fans bark for the fucking guy. <laughs> it's like, what in the fuck? Why can we not mention that he's a goddamn fucking Steiner? He's wearing a crown. I thought the Arnold's title is a crown. I thought about it for a minute. I thought, well, what the hell? What's the, <laughs> the why? Why not have a crown instead of a belt? That's actually a great idea. Some wrestling promotion needs a championship crown, and the guy wears it down like a king to the ring. It is. It's called the fucking king of the ring, you nerd. I guess it's that.